Miracle Beauty. I am Brandy, and I am doing my current skincare favorites for July. So I was a late bloomer on skincare. I have voiced this many times on my channel before. I actually had one lotion that I probably had the same one until I was 30, 35 maybe even. And then that was the oil of Olay, like the white with the black lid. Easy to find, easy to get a hold of. And then I switched over to Clinique, um, drastically different lotion. Still actually keep that in the house on a regular basis. Um, it's still one of my favorite lotions, especially in summer. It's very light and airy. It's just really nice. But I didn't do anything else until I was approaching 40. As I started approaching 40, I started all of a sudden these lines appear that had never been there before, which they probably had, but I just didn't notice or pay close attention. And then I wanted to like fix things or prevent things. And it just became a educational process that I am still very much in. So my current favorites, I have a little bit from every category here. And so I'm just going to go through what I see and go from there. I do have one fail that I just, I have to mention, I don't want you to waste your money on it unless you thoroughly research it or get a sample or something because it just was a huge fail for me. But the first thing I'm going to mention, this is not the fail, is Garnier's Micellar Water. I actually double cleanse with a balm, take the day off, I mentioned it in my empties, is my holy grail number one favorite. I do have another one that I like, which is Pharmacy. I actually just bought the Pons, and I'm going to try the Physician's Formula as well. If I can find a cheaper version of that, I would love to. It is $29, I believe, for the bigger one. $9 for the travel, but it works fantastic. So I do a cleansing balm, then I do a face wash, face wash, then I don't always go in with micellar water if I feel like my skin has been completely clean. But if I have a reminiscence of um, mascara or things like that, then I actually do then use micellar water. I actually like this one is good. I do not care for the blue one, but the green is a mattifying one, which sounds funny because I have dry skin, but I love that form, that formation or formula. So this one is about halfway done. And when it's gone, I have a backup of the matte one and I am going to switch and just continue to buy that one. Another one, and this is, I will just say an expensive product. It is a luxury. It is not a need, but I did love it. And this is the Mac Lightful C plus Coral Grass Softening Lotion Spray. It is, it, the other day, I just want to if you can hear that. The other day I posted that this was an empty because it literally would not spray and I couldn't hear anything in there. And then I don't know if it was like on the sides or if the heat made the condensation or what, but now there's some in there and I am using up every last drop. One of the things I love this best for is such an unusual thing. I think I wouldn't think there'd be a product that could do this is, I don't know if you know when you're like not paying attention and you're watching TV and you put a little bit too much, too much moisturizer on and it starts to pill or certain ones will pill in combination of things or whatever. Me, it's usually me not paying attention. I'm like watching TV, put too much on my hands and all of a sudden I have this goop on my face. If you spray this on, it like melds it and makes it all just moisturize. And for me having dry skin, it doesn't hurt to have an extra moisturizer, but it's just really just like melds into your skin and stops all the pilling. And it's just fantastic. I just can't say enough about it. And um, as my boys tell me, it smells good too. So next I have toners. Um, I do have two toners, two totally different, what they do, everything else. I have the Laneige um, Essential Power Skin Toner. This is a like travel size. I actually have another one of this when this is gone. I love this. It works fantastic. It literally, my skin just feels like it is so clean and just soft when I, after I use it, it doesn't strip it, doesn't do anything, you know, to harm it. It's just fantastic. And the other one, I can't say I had used it all of July because I really sieved it in one of my boxes. And we can see I've used about that much, which a little bit goes a very long way with this. This is the Ren Ready Steady Glow Tonic Daily AHA Tonic. It is not stripping and drying like some of the AHA stuff I have used. This actually just, you can tell it has or lack of a better word, a chemical in it, but it just doesn't have that burning sensation or stripping feeling or things like that. So I don't use this every day, even though they say on here that it is safe to do because I do have super insensitive and dry skin. I use it every other day and I love its effect. Moisturizer um, or I, I don't really call this a moisturizer. I don't think they call it one on here either. This is like a um, hyaluronic acid essence, um, things like that. I don't, I, it, it's not a lotion. I don't know what to call it. So I actually got these in sample size. Um, I received my first one in one of my, actually I think it might've been my Sephora box. I can't remember. Um, and I fell in love with it. I actually got 
someone who's getting rid of a ton of these. I paid basically a dollar a tube and fell in love. And for my birthday, my husband did buy me the full size tube and I am super excited to have it. I am still finishing these off first because they're older, but I love it. Um, another AHA product is the Honeymoon Glow by Pharmacy. This is another one. I cannot use it every day. And I think it does say start off, let's see, use two to three times a week. It may build up to more with frequent use. So I don't have like an allergic reaction to it or anything like that, but I do find that my skin's kind of more sensitive the next day, which is normal with chemical exfoliants. However, I think my skin being as sensitive as it is, it's just a little bit worse. So I do use this twice a week. I absolutely love it. It is stunning. It like, I've already noticed that this area has gotten better and it just, it's really honestly fantastic. I just supremely love it. This is an OG product for most people, but I don't suffer from acne on a regular basis. Something I used earlier this month, just literally, I ended up with a breakout here. It's huge on my nose. I still have some like clogged pores up here. And so I'm just kind of working through it. But one of the things I had in my house that I had bought my sons actually is the emergency blemish relief, you know, teenagers and skin. And so it was in the bathroom and I use this before it ever erupts. Like when you get the little bump, I put it on and I do it for two, three days and my skin never even gets the pimple. It just clears the it just clears the pores out and prevents it from even happening. So it, I just, I love it. It works very well. It's fantastic. Um, let's see, another moisturizer. I actually got my first sunburn I've had in probably 10 years and it was miserable. It was on my face. It was on my decollage. It just was horrible. And almost every moisturizer I grabbed just for normal moisturizing, not for sunburn treatment actually burned or felt uncomfortable. The one that really helped was the Dive In Moisturizer by Wander Beauty. This actually like soothed my skin and made it feel better, but I wasn't expecting, like that was a bonus. I just wanted to moisturize it as having a burn, it dries you out. And this actually was stunningly comfortable, did not burn. And I used it multiple times a day during my sunburn and it just, it was beautiful. It just, I love it. I still use it now. I'm actually at the end of it. I don't think I can see through it. Like, it's like right here, and I plan to order more. It's absolutely fantastic. Another item we got in boxes that is, um, I think this was the Ipsy, no, this was Tri Box, I believe. So this is the Dr. Botanicals, um, what's the actual name? Moroccan Rose Superfood Facial Oil. So that was almost two months ago because this month we get the second, um, well, my second Tri, but it was... June we got it and then August we're getting it. So I don't know if you could see it's like to here. I am obsessed with this. Okay, first of all, the scent alone is like motivator to use it. It just smells so fruity and yummy. It's just it has no rose scent at all. So I did already buy a full size of this. This is my favorite face oil I have ever used. And then another moisturizer I have here that I just want to say works fantastic, especially if you have dry skin, is the um youth to the people. Kale, spinach, green tea, hyaluronic acid. This is so awesome. I, this is, I think, my third trial or travel size. And I haven't even, I got it, I think I got it for Mother's Day, but I didn't even open it until July. And I love it. It just works fantastic. And it's, for me, really good because, I, again, I have sensitive skin. Um, Let's see. What's next? This is another one. I think I got this in the Ipsy. This is the Gold Fadden MD. And this is the Bright Eyes Dark Circle Radiant Concentrate. So I want to say, I don't feel that this does anything for my dark circles. I think that other than injections or things like that, there is no way to fix that. However, this is very nourishing and helps my under eye look more moisturized and everything else. So I love it for that, even though it's not performing as it's designed. So... I have the Laneige Night Masks, both the lip and the face. I have a ton of these. I love these. People that don't enjoy them do set, um, sell them for really cheap prices on the different resale shops, Mercari, you know, eBay, things like that. And I just love it. Laneige, I use the lip one all the time. It just gives my lips a restart, lets it like get better and healthier. And the mask I was using more often. I did notice, I did notice that the if I didn't wash my face in the morning and then put on primer or anything else, and if I'm running late, let's be realistic, it happens. And it would actually cause slippage by my makeup because it is so moisturizing. So now if I know if I'm getting up extra early or I'm going to bed super late, I don't put that on.
Um, this one is my, I think, third tube or tub of this since, um, see, December of 17. I received like a smaller tub as a gift. And then I've now bought three of these since then. These last forever. I don't know if it's going to pick up. So this one I like have just dug into this side, but this is the Bath and Body Works. This is the Shea Butter Body Butter or Shea Body Butter. I love this. This is literally my favorite scent by them. I actually have the little like body spray of it. I love it. But this, I have eczema and it doesn't aggravate my eczema despite being scented, which is unusual. And then it also just really moisturizes and I feel like it, my body just like sucks it up. So I love these. I actually have the hemp one too. I love the scent of that one. I know some people have an aversion to it, but I think it smells fantastic. It smells nothing like weed in my opinion, but it smells fantastic. Um, somebody else on YouTube I was watching the other day was talking about that lotion on the other like it smells like a joint and I'm using it the next night and I'm like I don't see that but okay whatever to each his own. Um, the last fave I have and this is one that I have to say is another thing that I was like yeah that's one of those fee fee things I don't need to do that but since I started doing it it's I've actually noticed a difference. So this is the Sally Henson and this is the vitamin E of course I'm looking at the French side vitamin E nail and cuticle oil and it does look like this I actually have one of these at home one of these at work my coworker kept telling me my nails would grow better they'd be in better condition if I just took care of my cuticles and I thought she was full of crap but she was actually 100% right my nails have been growing so much better since I started using it and it's she uses another one I think it's like the miracle one or something like that um but I absolutely swear by this now and do use it twice a day the fail. So I know this is going to get me some total heat if anybody disagrees because this is a brand that's very well loved. But we got this in BoxyCharm. I'm glad I didn't pay for it. It's the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Clean Cream. So if you look, I don't have a lot left in there. I don't think because the inside's white, it's going to pick up. It's probably about two thirds used. I am now using this as foot lotion because every single time I use it on my face, it will not meld with any other products. So if I use an eye cream, it pills. If I use an oil, it pills. If I use too much, it pills. If I use too little, it doesn't moisturize. So to me, there's just too many variables to try to remember and I'm not interested in that type of product. Now, I do know just from reading the reviews and from speaking to people online, that there's plenty of people that actually love this product and swear by this product. But for me, it's just not, when I have things like the Wander or even the Laneige and I can't think of the lotion I'm using now. I have a little like thing I'm using these this and something else. Well this too. None of the products that I currently use have that issue and for me that's just too many variables to keep track of. It only works with this, it only works with that, doesn't work with this and I just it's not for me. I summertime walking barefoot things my feet are drier. I'm using it on my feet. It's working great and ironically it has not peeled once since I put it on my feet. So maybe it's a better foot lotion. I don't know. Very expensive foot lotion if that's the case. I hope that you like this video. I hope if you've made it this far, you would subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. I do upload every Sunday, Tuesday, and Friday. And I would love to hear any of your skincare suggestions. As I said, I really just recently started my journey. I've probably only been really buying skincare for the last 18 months, two years or so. And I'm still discovering really good brands and figuring out what works for me and things like that. So I'd love to hear your suggestions for, um, I'm not even going to say it, 41 year old skin because you cannot stand the term that they use for it on YouTube. So I refuse to say it, but I hope that you enjoyed this. And if you did, I hope you like it. And I hope I see you again soon.